What's up, YouTube? It's Hector from Not Too Nerdy, and as you can see in the background, I'm playing Shadow of the Colossus. Now, this game came out in 2005 for the PlayStation 2. The version I'm playing is on the PlayStation 3, which is the HD version. And as you can see, it's a really pretty game. It's a really fun game. And uh, this stuff like this, you know, makes me happy about the game industry. But you want to know what really makes me upset with the game industry? GameStop. Now, I buy games from GameStop sometimes. I try not to, but sometimes you have to. If you want games midnight release or you want games that other stores might not have, you have to go to GameStop. And GameStops are everywhere. You know, just in my area, I have like five GameStops within driving distance of like 15, 20 minutes away. Five of them. Just around me. And here's the, the latest news for GameStop. GameStop plans to close 120 to 130 retail game stores. Now, they have over 6,000 stores. So in reality, it isn't that much. But here's the problem. They're now going to try to focus on selling tablets and mobile devices. Yeah, that's right. GameStop, a company that sells video games, is now going to try to focus on selling tablets and mobile devices. <laughs> so they're going to close between 120 and 130 stores and try to open up around 200 stores, they said, to sell tablets and mobile devices now i don't know if they realize this but how many places can you go and get tablets and mobile devices almost everywhere you could go to walmart you could go to target more importantly you could go to electronic stores like best buy and other big retailers and you could buy this stuff online as well so i don't understand why they're trying to transition over that now i get the fact that they're worried in the future Everything's going to go digital, right? So you're not going to need a store like GameStop anymore. So they're trying to expand their business. Well, why not do something better than this? Like, this makes no sense. Right now, you're making a fortune with GameStop. So you're going to close stores down to focus on something that you should have been focused on for a, a long time ago? So you're pretty much late to the party. Which, by the way, I totally agree with Alpha Omega Sin and also Boogie2988. If you guys see their videos on this, I totally agree with both of them. Alpha pretty much said that they're late to the party in the tablet, mobile, you know, all selling those devices. They're late to the party. But yet, at the same time, they're pulling the trigger too early on stopping selling games, you know. Because we're, I, I think we're a good 10 years out before people stop buying physical copies. 10, maybe even 15 years. You're still going to be able to sell and buy physical copies for a while. Like, there's certain things that are preventing people from getting just digital copies. Internet is one of the things. The second thing is that the memory to save all these games is just too much. Like, it costs too much for hard drives and stuff. But hard drives went down in price, but the SSDs and stuff like that, like, that's what, you know, people don't have the money for yet. If you purchase all these games that you download, where are you going to save them? And this is part of the, the problem right now. You know, some people find room for it, but then people erase the game, and then when they want to play it, they have to re-download the game every time. This is the problem, you know. That's why sometimes having a physical copy is better. You can play it whenever you want to. You don't have to rely on their servers or, you know, downloading speeds. You don't have to rely on any of that. You just put in the disc or you put in a cartridge, whatever it is, and you can play it. So that's why there's still going to be a used game market for at least 10 to 15 years. I, I say 10 years. You know, they're trying to transition over now. But I still, I still say in the next 10 years, you're still going to see physical copies. I mean, look at the CDs that people will listen to music. You know, they still sell CDs. They still sell CDs. And look how long ago CDs been downloaded, like songs and stuff. And they still sell CDs for every song. Even if it's a single, they sell it in stores and people still buy it. So as long as people still buy it, they're going to still sell it. So I don't understand what GameStop's doing. But what pisses me off even more about GameStop is the fact that they bullied all these small mom-and-pop shops everywhere. And they forced so many people out of business. EB Games, like 
Funko Land back in the day. They pushed all these people away and they took over. And now all of a sudden, they're planning to slowly stop selling video games. That's what it seems like. They know that eventually they're not going to exist. So what they're doing, they bought out everyone, pushed them away, and now it's going to make it hard for certain people. Because, yeah, I have plenty of game stops in this area. So if one disappears, it's not going to affect me. But there's certain parts of the country, people don't have that. And they're going to be limited to going to Walmart or Target or something that sometimes they don't have games in stock. You know, they have the big games in stock, but there's certain games that they just don't have in stock. You know, if you ask them, oh, do you have this game? Do you know what's coming in? They won't know. As much as people criticize GameStop employees, it's really not their fault. It's the, the company's uh, sales tactics that really pisses people off. But besides that, like, they at least know what video game we're talking about. They at least know how to reserve a game. They do midnight releases. They do certain things that you could count on. Even though you don't agree with the used market and the stuff that they do sometimes, at least the games are there. The games are always there. And it always comes down to the games. It really does. If you show me the game, to be honest with you, I'll let a lot of different things slide. So let me know what you guys think about GameStop. Do you really think they're going to get anywhere switching over to the tablet department? You know... I don't see that happen. I don't know what the heck they're doing, but I'm really pissed off at GameStop. But games like this, Shadow of the Colossus, still puts a smile on my face. Still lets me know that, you know what, it's all about the gaming, and there's still good things in this gaming industry. So, in the comments down below, let me know what you guys think about GameStop. And that's pretty much it. So this is Hector from Not So Nerdy. I'm out. See you, YouTube.